The state says Exxon is illegally storing and transporting waste from the spill. Well, that's right. The Department of Environmental Quality says it sent a letter warning Exxon of the violation at the beginning of May and nothing has been done. Today, that was added to the list of complaints by state and federal government in a 20-page lawsuit filed against ExxonMobil in federal court. Folks in Conway likely pay little attention to the large trucks that pull in and out of this facility on Highway 36. Only the Pegasus sitting atop the entrance serves as a clue as to what the Attorney General says is a legal action behind these gates. Exxon has stored its waste at a site on Highway 36 in Conway improperly and illegally without a permit from the state. Inside these frack tanks, hazardous waste from the Mayflower oil spill is stored. When ADAQ found out, they asked Exxon to move the waste to an adequate facility. The Attorney General says that request was ignored. To store this material uh, without following the law in advance and then to not remove it upon being demanded to do so, uh, we felt was particularly concerning and should be included in this litigation. This complaint was filed Thursday in district court, and Arkansas isn't alone in this suit. U.S. Attorney Chris Thayer says the federal government has signed on, too. I also hope that by coming together in a single lawsuit, Exxon understands how serious this situation is to both the United States and to Arkansas. The complaints range from the spill itself to the damage done, and of course, this facility hidden away from prying eyes is included as well. Exxon could end up paying $25,000 for every day since May that it has not complied with Arkansas's demand that the waste be moved. That includes today, tomorrow, and until Exxon obeys the lawful orders of the state of Arkansas. As far as a dollar amount being sought, the Attorney General says it'll keep increasing each day that the violations continue. Back to you, Scott.